All right, today the governor of Texas signed a bill putting more restrictions on abortion. And it comes as the state's abortion law faces its first test. A Texas do doctor who violated the law has now been sued twice. CBS's Janet Shamlian goes in-depth tonight on the impact of that law on women in the state. Now, we're about to make it law. The nation's most restrictive abortion law. Hands up my body! Is forcing women to flee Texas. Are you currently pregnant? In search of clinics like this one in Colorado that can barely meet demand. I am booked for the rest of this week. CBS News had rare access to the facility in Denver where nearly half the patients are Texans. It is a six week surgical with PO sedation. When is the last time that you've seen an influx like this in this clinic to this degree? We haven't. We haven't seen numbers like this ever. Dr. Rebecca Cohen is the medical director. An abortion can be painful, people can hurt, but this is different. We are seeing patients who are traumatized when they arrive. But Women like this 34-year-old mother of three who asked us to conceal her identity. She learned she was pregnant one day before the law went into effect. When you realized you could not get the procedure in Texas, mm -hmm. what did you think? I cried. I cried all the way from when they told me through the counselor session. I was honestly, I didn't know what I was going to do. The Texas law bans almost 90% of abortions beginning at six weeks before many women know they're pregnant. Women have to cross state lines to get one, and they are. Colorado has no state mandated waiting period for the procedure. The woman we spoke with made this 1600 mile round trip in one day. So you just finished the procedure here, mm -hmm. but you're not finished. So after a procedure, you're supposed to take it easy. I'm not going to get that option because I'm going to have to walk through the airport and everything else to get back home. She says she has an irregular heartbeat, which could make the pregnancy risky. How far along are you? The Shreveport, Louisiana clinic is just 20 miles from the Texas border. Even with a 24 hour state mandated waiting period, appointments are hard to come by. Hope Medical. Kathleen Pittman runs the Hope Clinic. They're literally begging to get in and be seen as quickly as possible. Women should not be going through this. I mean, it's unconscionable. There's been up to a five week wait for an appointment at this Louisiana clinic previously. In the past, women could get in in just a couple of days. And while other southern states are looking to follow Texas's lead on abortion, the greatest challenge to Roe v. Wade comes December 1st when the Supreme Court hears a Mississippi case. Nora. Janet Shamlian, thank you so much.